hello everyone welcome back so it's been a while that I have posted a video so I was uh, developing this website for one of our client so so this website is not yet complete but uh, we have done the phase one of this project so that's completed so I just want to explain you like um, just go through the website how we developed and what all we used so that uh, the people who uh, you know who want to develop such kind of website this can help Okay, so without further huddle, we'll go to the video. So for that, uh, if you are not subscribed to uh, my channel, please subscribe and you know share the knowledge as well. Okay, so um, so if you look at the project structure, it is the same. So. Um, um, to let you know the um, technologies used so we are using angular angular 8 and uh, for the back end we are using firebase so uh, as there are so many tutorials like I, or videos i have uploaded so i've used the same to uh, still retrieve the data so we are not using any um, back end service um, or any other java stack like Spring Boot or anything, uh, you know, as an intermediate to interact with the Firebase. So it is directly the UI which is handling the Firebase, you know, storing the data and retrieving it back. Okay. So uh, here is this project structure. So here we have three modules. So one is the admin module, and another is a group and jewelry service. So the client is. Uh, a kind of a retail store so they also have um, you know giving jewelry loans and everything and they also sell fertilizers seeds and everything so that comes under agro services so we um, as the application is going to be handled by a single person so we are not having a, a separate um, screens for admin so once they log in they can uh, go to admin and they can view the revenue stock and they can also add the stock and get the report and this uh, particular module will give you know uh, let them to sell and they can also view the invoice so uh, coming to the code so uh, so once you create the normal project so it will the application module will just directly navigate you to the home module so which just um, carries the app header and the router outlet so the app header is nothing but this one this particular stuff the head uh, title and the um, buttons to navigate to the particular module okay so there if you look at the um, routing you can see that it navigates to particular module okay a group dashboard and this will remove okay and once you click on that particular stuff if it will go to the agro module or the dashboard module so in the dashboard if you look at um, so we have used matte icons to show these icons and almost everywhere we are used we have used matte so even this um, date range selection and everything it's come to, comes under matte and we also use um, ngx chart i guess yes so let me go to this chart module yes we are using ngx chart module and all these component um, like bar chart, vertical chart, pie chart and everything even the group bar chart we are using so for all that I've created a separate uh, shared component so that wherever it's it's required we, you can just pass in the parameters so if you look at uh, everywhere I'm just uh, passing in the parameters and if there is anything selected so we are just emitting that data okay so through this way we can reuse this component um, like how many over time you want so if you look at here so once you are into this revenue dashboard you can view that particular dates uh, revenue or if you want to view that particular month's revenue or you can also select um, a custom date whatever you want and view the revenue okay let me select only three is three okay there's nothing okay see here for this only one invoice is there so only one uh, uh, sales happen so only 636 happen so let me go inside this so you can also go inside the particular chart and view 
what will happen on that day so i'll explain this once after selling the data okay selling after we'll come back and look at the data whatever we have okay so even here you can go and look at all the stocks you have uh, so currently we have sulfate so all this and what are the quantities we have we have available in our uh, stock okay and then uh, coming into stocks so here is the main part of the admin so they can add they can they can add the product here then add the products so the admin can add the product even uh, directly they can add the product or they can also add with their purchase invoice so whatever the invoice they have they can enter the vendor and then the product details so they can add the product okay so then so the reports we are working on so this is so this is with the next phase that we are going to do work. and we come here to the sales in sales you can search for the particular product and you can just click on it so that it will be at the billing card and you can enter the uh, let's see i'm entering my phone number if the phone number is available in the tb so it will just pick it from there and let me add two more quantity in this let me add this as well two let me add some more here okay let me add one okay so my card value is only thousand so 182 okay so let me save and print so it will gonna ask you for whether you wanna save and print yes so it will show you the invoice okay so this invoice you can print it with your normal printer or you can also save it okay so so that's with the sales so once you um, run with it so next invoice will be opening so so you can go here and you can view the invoice so I have completed this invoice you can view with that from here you can also send the um, you can also I uh, know put the invoice and hold so it will be not paid and you can view the invoice as well okay so let me go back to the admin dashboard and here if you look at today I have sold uh, for 180 rupees so you can go inside this and view the inside of what all we have sold okay so here um, for this date today's date uh, we have sold for 182.32 rupees and if you come down so it is completely of an agro products okay and so this is for segment wise uh, revenue detail so once you click on this you can uh, you know uh, come to know which are products are sold in in like in that particular day and this is sold for 44 and, and 10 and 18 so if you're selecting a range of a date then you can also view the same details so if this is only for that particular date so in that particular date i have uh, invoice only one invoice so that that has only these three products so if you are invoicing more products then you also come to know what all are getting sold and uh, which is getting sold more so those inside you can get from here okay so even if you go to stocks so the stocks so what all we we got so now uh, we you know just sold ammonium 2 and uh, phosphate 2 and sulfate too so here you can see this was earlier 20 and now it's 18 it's 48 now and this is 98 so that's how the once you once your invoice is done so your product quantity will get reduced so um so whenever you want to you're going you're going to plan for um uh, a new stock uh, planning to buy a new stock you can just go to this list and just change low to high and you can come to know which of all are less so you you can just extract this alone and then you can work and even uh, if there is any variant in that you can come to know in this particular stuff so you, once you click on that you can come to this you will be uh, landed on this page this page will display you uh, how many units of this variant so let's say there are uh, 500 ml and one and one uh, liter um, uh, product is there then you can come to know uh, those two how many are available okay 
so that's the stock and that's the uh, stock availability so this is to update the stocks okay so let's go into the code okay so code as we told earlier the chart so as you have already seen the chart we have uh, we have multiple charts like bar chart um, a pie chart everything so um, the next one is so mainly you have to concentrate on the service the service part uh, which directly um, you know interacting with the uh, firebase so what you have to do is sometimes you have to wait the operations to be completed and then only you can work okay so let's say uh, there is um, uh, the agro service okay so in this service um, so i want the invoice number okay so for that invoice number so i want to create the next invoice number so once you create one invoice then that invoice is closed so for the next invoice I'm, i have to take the next invoice number so like the last invoice number plus one so to that i have to do a get invoice and i have to wait okay so if you look at here i'm i'm converting into a promise here okay so instead of an observable so if you are doing as an observable probably there are, there may be a chance that your code will get executed even I mean, like after all the other codes in the you know down the lane are executed so let's say you have um, you are calling this get invoice in sales so let, let me go here okay uh, and one more thing i forgot to mention uh, the whenever you are creating uh, you know whenever you are interacting with the firebase or try to minimize the number of hits okay so here what we are doing is like we are maintaining the cart so let's say you have something and you are trying to you know so for each and everything you should not hit the um, firebase so once initially when you land on this page you have to uh, get all the info on the products and whatever uh, the customers you have so instead of making um, frequent calls to firebase to try to minimize the hit so that you can avoid the you know the number of hits limit as well with the firebase so when you have a free account okay and yeah i forgot where it is getting called let me search it okay um, So here if you look at there is a uh, update customer method okay so what we are doing is like once we enter the customer phone number and like let's say warrant also entering the customer name so let's say you have the customer in the db so you are getting it so you have to check whether you have the customer or not so you have to wait till that so for that we are making use of the promise like once this is done then execute the rest something like that so um, so it's 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 um, more useful for me like whenever uh, we have to wait for something then something like here okay so when once we get the product ID then work on the rest something like this okay so you have to concentrate on this items whenever you're working on such kind of projects which you know uh, the UI itself taking care of all the service activities okay and um, the other things which I have to mention here or to don't uh, more concentrate on the UI first whenever you're designing something so you um, work on the service and just get the functional stuff working then you can make up the stuff with the UI very easily okay and uh, make use of the material design so that's um, that, that's helping a lot because that's saving a lot of code for you and uh, coming to the model which we have so here you look at the customer so for the customer we are storing only the phone number and customer first name but we should be having all the data like so here we are also updating uh, the created data and active but the email and the last name we are not having like updating it here probably in the next module in the jewelry section jewelry module we'll be updating all the details so we need all the data to be there so we have the customer 
and looking at the product module we have all the data for the product and this product is tied inside the invoice line item okay the customer and uh, the product uh, are tied inside the product invoice so if you come to the product invoice so it will be having the invoice line items so this invoice line items are nothing but the list of uh, billing card items okay so this will be having the uh, product uh, id title the quantity of the product and the price and we'll be calculating the var and everything here itself and storing it in the DDB. so that will be easy for us to pull the data and show it in the invoice okay um and uh, we are not using any card kind of uh, model here because it's a direct invoicing so if uh, if you are going for an e-commerce site then you can uh, work on something kind of a card uh, thing so for a particular user you can have a card and then they can store uh, the data and they can also wish list everything so those uh, for all those you should be having a separate model altogether okay so uh, here is a direct invoicing so once you are uh, putting all the um, uh, products inside the cart you're directly invoicing them so once it is invoiced um, so that will be detected the product quantity uh, the available quantity will be detected from here and we also update the um, oh look, not, that's it uh, we also update the product uh, invoice okay the status to complete and uh, we also store uh, the vendor details because that's also required for us and this is the vendor module okay Mm, we also have the product categories so this uh, we are not making use of but still we I mean like initially when we had thought of uh, creating a pro separate product category as well probably if we are going for a bigger um, thing then we can come up with this kind of uh, product category codes for now we are not using this okay and in the shared modules you can look at uh, we are having the the dialogues what always common we are just sharing that header and footer even the sales invoice whatever we are generating when you know, whatever you see here so if you look at the sales invoice here okay. we go here you can very well view the sales invoice this invoice is getting viewed from both the places even from sales and even from the invoice so so the, so we have a um, you know common sales invoice and this dialog as is also same and you also have a date service um, utils and material modules whatever the material models we have here and finally the shared model will hold all the stuff here okay so once you import the shared modules you will be having the benefit of accessing all this uh, inside the shared code okay so so that's that's uh what the project is all about um, we are we are uh, almost done with the phase one so we are moving to the phase two of this project so um, I hope uh, people are you know doing such kind of projects and uh, if they want anything uh, from this project or if they if you want uh, anything to be contribute from this project uh, you are most welcome and uh, do comment section like whatever you uh, you require from this um, website or if you want to know anything from here i'm always ready to you know explain that in a separate video okay um that's it we are end of this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and share the knowledge thank you